Gucci. It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. Come meet the family. Hey everybody, this is Patricia, and this is my family. Kick this out! They had it all. Wealth, style, power. Who wouldn't care for that? What's up everyone? Today we're learning English with the hotly anticipated new movie starring Lady Gaga and Al Pacino. It's House of Gucci. Now, if you love learning English with movies, TV series and celebrities, have you subscribed to our channel yet? I highly recommend you do this because we help you to understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. Just like Digal who says they get completely engrossed in our videos and method of teaching. So hit the subscribe button and bell down below to do that now. I want to know about finding Patrizia from the bigger moments because she's such a big larger than life character down to the father son house of Gucci those little moments that were so nuanced that the internet loved but that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'd like to start by saying part of the way I believe you find your character is uh, the camaraderie with the cast and I'm very lucky to have an incredible cast and everybody here was so giving. Finding Patrizia was something that was I, I made it a sort of life mission for myself. I became fascinated with being a sort of journalist about it. I wanted to find what the trigger points were in her life that uh, added up to this murder. And I did my best to uh, figure out what it would take to push a woman over the edge to make such a big mistake. She needs no blood. Gucci is what I say it is. This is not a woman's game. Remember that. Madness. Who does he think he is? It's time to take out the trash. Gucci is a rare animal. He must be protected. Protected from who? From whoever threatens it. What game are you playing? But we're a family. You betray them. Gucci is my name too. Who does what? Oh. Don't miss. I don't consider myself a particularly ethical person, no! but I am fair. I subscribe to unconventional punishments. This movie revolves around Patrizia. This means that she's the main or most important character in the story. She has a romantic interest in Maurizio, but some people question whether she feels real love towards him or if she's just interested in the money. After all, Maurizio will inherit half of the company after his father's death. Take a look at these examples with this word. You'll inherit this. Dad, what a thing to say. She was married to Victor Borger's agent. She left me an inheritance stone. Just over two mil. They had it all. Wealth, style, power. Who wouldn't care for that? Wealth is a large amount of money, property, etc. that a person or country owns. The Gucci's are a very wealthy family. You can also say that they're well off or that they're a well-to-do family. A more derogatory term is filthy rich. Pablo couldn't hide his success from his friends. They were violent, crazy, and filthy rich. Guys used to getting what they want, one way or another. Who wouldn't care for that? Patrizia then says she'd kill for those things she mentions, wealth, style, power. We might say this in a figurative sense to mean that we really want or desire something. 
For example, if you're starving, very hungry, you could say, I'd kill for a cheeseburger right now. The thing is, however, that Patrizia might mean this literally. So I want to know about finding Patrizia from the bigger moments because she's such a big larger than life character. Indeed, Lady Gaga plays a larger than life character in this film. If you describe someone as a larger than life person, you mean they attract a lot of attention because they are more exciting or interesting than most people. This cartoon character is a good example of a larger than life personality. You know what? I'm happy. That's droopy, of course, and I'm joking. We would need the opposite word to describe droopy. Can you guess which adjective we would use? Easygoing, moody, dull. Will Smith, for example, is a larger than life celebrity. Down to the father son house of Gucci. Here, she's talking about the Catholic prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. She's weakened it, changed it, and lowered its value. Father, Son, and House of Gucci. Those little moments that were so nuanced that the internet loved, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. As a noun, a nuance is a very slight, hardly noticeable difference in manner, color, meaning, etc. Nuanced is the adjective form of this word. Lady Gaga is praised for her nuanced performance in this movie. Another actor that is often celebrated for his nuanced performances is Anthony Hopkins. And today I want to take a look at one conversation featuring the great Anthony Hopkins. Specifically, I want to examine how Hopkins acts this scene, how he elevates every line of dialogue to a hypnotically interesting level. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The interviewer then says that Lady Gaga's acting performance is the tip of the iceberg. This is an expression that we use to say that what others can see is just a small part of all the effort that's not visible to others. Gaga's tip of the iceberg is her wonderful acting. The bottom of the iceberg meaning the effort that's hidden from view is all the work she put into it to embody her character as well as she did. If you can speak English confidently and clearly, your good English is just the tip of the iceberg. So this means it's the consequence of having worked hard to achieve a good level of fluency. I'd like to start by saying part of the way I believe you find your character is uh, the camaraderie with the cast. Camaraderie, also sometimes spelt like this, is a feeling of friendship that a group of people have, especially when they work together. Love camaraderie, freedom, all the things I want from this life are lost in the din. Can you say this word, camaraderie? I know it's hard. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. Now, with our Fluent With Friends course, you can have a lot of fun learning with the first two seasons of Friends. You'll receive PDF power lessons every week, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. But the best part is, you can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass. All you have to do is click up here or the link down in the description below and just sign up now. You'll receive these three mini lessons straight to your email. So go ahead. What are you waiting for? Finding Patrizia was something that was, I, I made it a sort of life mission for myself. I became fascinated with being a sort of journalist about it. She made her investigation of the real person she was basing her role on a life mission. This is a way to emphasize that she's fully devoting or dedicating time and effort to learn about the real person. A journalist is someone who writes news reports for newspapers, magazines, television or radio. She means she investigated the real person deeply. I wanted to find what the trigger points were in her life that uh, added up to this murder. As a verb, to trigger something means to make something happen very quickly, especially a series of events. Example, COVID triggered the science community to come up with a vaccine as quickly as possible. 
Here she mentions trigger points in her life, which means the same thing. This would be something that happened in her life that pushed her to make a decision. I wanted to find what the trigger points were in her life that uh, added up to this murder. The phrasal verb add up here means contribute. We sometimes use the expression it all adds up to mean that lots of small amounts gradually make a large total. As far as I know, it's all part of a routine operation to test our battle readiness. <laughs> Give us a break. All this adds up to a potential military strike. What's the real story? Now, can you say this word? I know this is another word that can be difficult to say. We pronounce it as murder. Murder. And I did my best to uh, figure out what it would take to push a woman over the edge to make such a big mistake. If something pushes someone over the edge, it causes them to commit to doing something they had been considering or close to doing for a long time. Been in and out of rehab, wouldn't take much to push him over the edge. I hate to put you in this position, but he wouldn't listen to me. Gucci needs no blood. Gucci is what I say, please. In a sentence like, we need to bring in new blood and fresh ideas, new blood is new members to a group. Patrizia here says the Gucci company needs new blood, probably to position herself to become a director of some kind within the company. I guess some new people might be coming from Stanford. Should be fun, new blood. If you join a company, people at that company could say that you pump new blood into it. This is not a woman's game. Remember that. In this clip, Al Pacino's character says that a woman isn't fit to run the company or be part of it. The expression usually used more frequently is a man's game, which is used to describe a job that men usually do. Be careful how you use this expression though, because it can be considered sexist. Madness. Who does he think he is? Despite portraying a foreign accent, Gaga uses this sentence with perfect connected speech. The trick for pronouncing this fluently is to unstress some words. Pay attention to how I say this sentence. Who does he think? Who does he think? Who does he think? Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? It might be because Lady Gaga is portraying a rather thick Italian accent, which as a side note, some critics say sounds more Russian, that she pronounces the H sound in he. However, in English, it's common to hear people dropping the H sound. So this sounds like, who does he think he is? Madness, who does he think he is? Madness in this case refers to behavior that is not reasonable when considering certain situations. I don't know why Walker's trying to tackle a charging elephant. It's madness. It's time to take out the trash. To take out the trash can be the actual action of moving the garbage from inside the house to outside so that the garbage disposal workers can take it away. Gucci is a rare animal. It must be protected. Protected from who? Rare means not seen or found very often or not happening very often. Example, it's rare to see a wild animal roaming the city. It's also used to mean to refer to an animal that doesn't exist in large numbers, an endangered species, for example. This is the analogy she uses to describe Gucci. That's why she says they should protect him. I don't consider myself a particularly ethical person, no! but I am fair. Ethical means relating to principles of what is right and wrong. Why would you think that I don't think we're doing the right thing? You might think that if good people hold themselves to unrealistically high ethical standards, then they might lose out to their unscrupulous competitors. The opposite is unethical. You keep the money, give Jackson the wrong advice, make trouble. Okay, that is unethical. Oh. On so many levels. You're unethical or badass. Completely unethical. Gucci. It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. Come meet the family. Hey everybody, this is Patrizia, and this is my family. Get these teeth out! They had it all. 
wealth, style, power. Who wouldn't care for that? Which of the options doesn't mean rich or wealthy? Weld, well to do, well off. I want to know about finding Patrizia from the bigger moments because she's such a big larger than life character down to the father son house of Gucci those little moments that were so nuanced that the internet loved but that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'd like to start by saying part of the way I believe you find your character is uh, the camaraderie with the cast and I'm very lucky to have an incredible cast. What does camaraderie mean? Friendship? Collaboration? Romanticism? and everybody here was so giving. Finding Patrizia was something that was, I, I made it a sort of life mission for myself. I became fascinated with being a sort of journalist about it. I wanted to find what the trigger points were in her life that uh, added up to this murder. And I did my best to uh, figure out what it would take to push a woman over the edge to make such a big mistake. Gucci needs no blood. Gucci is what I say it is. This is not a woman's game. Remember that. Madness. Who does he think he is? It's time to take out the trash. Gucci is a rare animal. He must be protected. Protected from who? From whoever threatens it. What game are you playing? For a family. You betray them. Gucci is my name too. Who does what? Oh. Don't miss. I don't consider myself a particularly ethical person, no! but I am fair. I subscribe to unconventional punishments. What does she mean by saying she's not a particularly ethical person? She is a hard worker. She is a good person. She will do illegal activities. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Well done for making it to the end. If you're a fan of Lady Gaga like me, then check out this lesson we made with her next. I didn't ask for a free ride. I only asked you to show me a real good time. I never asked for the rainfall. At least I showed up, you showed